The doctor did say it was gonna get worse before it gets better. My other eyes turning purple. I don't even know what my back looks like. I can't even see it. There's a hole in the tongue in my tongue from where I bit my tongue. After my x-rays, it told me I have right here, there's the bone is fresh, uh, fractured and right here is fractured. I don't need surgery to fix it, luckily. It's just I'm gonna have to deal with the pain for a while. My back feels horrible. They gave me a bunch of medicine to take and stuff to put on it. I haven't even been able to look at it because I can't see my back and I don't have anyone to help me with it. So I'm, this is just painful, bro. My face is swollen as Look at this. It's Wednesday now. Oh, I look terrible. Face is still swollen as Tongue still hurts. I ain't seen my back, but I got to do so. Guess I'm going to do it. I don't want to hear it from him. I want to hear it from him. I want to hear why. Like, what the f I don't even know you, and you literally decided to attack me out of the blue. Um, who beat you up? A random man attacked me. I say, like, I don't, I just want to know, I want to hear from his mouth what he attacked me for. Where's the dog? He's actually right here. Look at him. Say hi, Shadow. I say, yeah, I do keep it on me now. I make sure my, I, I definitely am going to start taking self-defense classes. Um, I do keep my pistol on my person now instead of in my purse or in, like, in my, they normally keep it in the console in the middle seat. Where Georgia, uh, Buckhead, when he, when the man initially pulled me out of the car, my dog jumped out of the car. He jumped out of the car and he initially he tried to lay, but he tried to lay on top of me in between us. So initially, when the man pulled me out of the car, the, the, my dog jumped out of the car and he tried to lay on top of me so he couldn't hit me. And when um, the man pushed him out the way, he began biting him. Did he say to me anything to me while beating me up? He kept telling me he was going to kill me and I was going to die. Do you have a license to carry? Yes, I have a license to carry. And since Georgia is an open carry state, like I definitely, I carry my uh, I will say after he kicked my dog, um, my dog did bite him. That's what gave me the chance to actually even get up. I right, say so yeah. What happened is okay. So with with the gun situation, initially when he pulled me back into the car, and so I'm on this side of him, and like this, I I had to reach over him to grab my. So when he realized I grabbed my, is when he flipped me over into the back seat and pinned me up against the seat. So it was literally like, how can I explain this? So the seat. My face is this way, and he's behind me and has me pinned to the seat, and the gun is pinned to me like this, to where I couldn't move it, and he kept trying to pull it out of my hand. So now I ain't let that shit go. I, that's exactly where it was. It was in the cup holder. I can normally keep it right there. I kept it right there in the cup holder. So for me having me reaching over him to grab it when I came back up and he saw that shit, it was over. What happened after to me after you got arrested? I was in the hospital for two days afterwards. Would you have ended up? Oh yeah. Honestly, would I have ended him? Yes. Yes, I would have. No, I did not know him. I say sometimes having it is not is not enough. Is the dog okay? Yum, yeah, Shadow's okay. He just seems kind of sad. But you know what I noticed? Nothing's ever in the news about black women unless we're If y'all not realize that, nothing's ever in the news about us unless we're and they're trying to figure out who killed us. How did he approach you? Honestly, I, I ain't gonna lie. I got caught slipping. Honestly, I got caught slipping. Cause I was just chilling. I was just chilling be when my car. So I initially turned my car off, and then I when I turned it back on, so I had my phone and stuff charging. With my with a with most cars, your doors don't lock until you switch gears. Because I'm in that area so often, I wasn't thinking about oh lock your doors. Cause every single security guard around here know me. Every single security guard around here know me. I'm always I'm always here. Was he high from no? No, I'm not understanding. I don't, from what I understand, he wasn't high or anything. Where did your dog go when you were in the hospital? Um, so my dog, he, so after the attack, after the man drove my car into the tree, um, what I understand, my dog ran up to the quick trip. Can you do my hair? Yeah, I can. My dog ran to the quick trip and ended up, and he ran back. So he went up to the quick trip and he stayed at the quick trip apparently until the next day, until the security guard that he recognized was at the was at the quick trip the next day and, that, and then he texted me and said your dog's here and then he went back to like he basically made this man come back to the area where he last saw me shadow basically made this man follow him back to where he last saw me and then he called me told me what it was and then he took what happened to your tongue oh i had ended up biting my tongue really hard so and that there was a hole in my tongue but yeah he shadow went back to the area where he saw me and then the um 
That's when the security guard alerted me that, okay, I have your dog. He took him to the uh, the Humane Society so that way they could take care of him and everything. And then the next day they called me and told me like, okay, we have your dog. You can come pick him up whenever you get a chance to. Is your car fixed? No, it's not. It's actually total and I have to get a new car. This is what the front of my car looks like. It, it's, it's over with. That part that's here is pushed up into my engine. They told me it's totaled out. I don't have to get a whole new engine. So initially, this is where he started. He attempted to break into my car, like break into my window. And then this is what the back of the car looked like. Like, so initially he backed it into one tree and drove it forward. It's, oh, I, that, I'm more pissed about my car because I need my car. His family has called me already and I'm not okay with that. I, when I tell you, I, as soon as I still got the police report and saw that my address was on there, it was over with. I moved out. Of, I, I got up. Is he in jail? Yes, he's in jail. He was arrested that, that night. His family called me basically trying to apologize to me and everything and want, like, you know, want to know if I was going to press charges or anything. I'm, I told them to stop calling me. Yes, I'm taking this to court. And if they were to call me again, I will report them to the police. How did they catch him? He was still in the car attacking me when police pulled up. His birthday and everything is on there. He's um about 10 years older than me, if I'm not mistaken. He's born in 85. So yeah, that's 10 years older than me. He's, what, 37 at that point? How'd the police know to come? A security guard called the police. The security guard, um, from, I don't think... Honestly, he, he felt like he, he said that there wasn't much that he could do, so he just ended up calling the police, which I'm glad he did call the police. Was he on or something? From reading this, no, he was not on drugs. The, he was a charge with carjacking, battery, and aggravated assault. It's the only three charges that he was charged with that night, from what I understand. But um, I was also told that it, when I go to court, that other charges can be added once I speak to the DA. Was you sleeping in your car? I wasn't sleeping, but it, because it was so late, I was kind of just chilling for a second because I think my my dog gets motion sickness now and he was throwing up in my car. So I pulled over to let him out the car for a minute so that way he can get himself together. And I kind of just sat still so he could get his life together because I don't know what's going on with him. He's old at this point. I don't know if he had priors or anything either. Black. He was a black man. The whole story is on my page, y'all. Do you have family there? No, I don't have family there. Georgia has a... Have you gotten blood tests? Yeah, they gave me blood tests. They gave me a technician. shot. They tested me for a whole bunch of different things to make sure nothing was passed along because he told the officers that he had hepatitis. This is his base. This is him. His name is Jerry's Anderson from, from McDonough. I said they need to add attention to the church. He literally told the officer he was trying to kill me. He literally told the officer he was going to kill me or take me with him. Dumbest question, the, dumbest dumbest question, the dumbest question I've been asked all, like, out of all of this is the dumbest question I've ever seen. That's how I'm still alive. If I didn't fight back, I know for a fact I would have been on that ground. They probably would have just been finding my body maybe yesterday or today.